Hola guys and girls and welcome to the second round of the yeah first G German online Keyforge tournament. We are now battling against, wait where's our group again? Here it is against t -Mind. as you can see he won versus Tillman as well, the one we uh, won in the last match. So uh, yeah, excited to face him. So let's see what he got and let's hop into the game. And uh, yeah, wish your opponent good luck and fun. And yeah, here again, I already looked at the deck, but here you can ha have a look as well. It's like a Kota deck with some annoying disc stuff, some logger stuff. It's a similar deck to mine, like a little bit, like it has a, a Graft, uh, Drumble stuff going on, and then a lot more stealing in the shadows as well with double uh, speed sigil, which can be annoying, and we have to be uh, worried about Let's start the game though. And uh, yeah, we are a second player, and this is a great hand for a second player. I'm definitely gonna keep that. Let's hope opponent doesn't generate any Ember with this first card, this, so we can enable our Terror right here. But yeah, that's a great starting hand. We see Logos from opponent. He might just play a lab work. Yeah, he sadly does play a lab work. But honestly, I'm gonna still empty out my uh, discard right here just to get everything on the field. Like even the Terror, even though he doesn't do anything for us right now, I'm just gonna put him on the field. And let's start the game like this. Strong deals, but already Ember Imp on the field with no ends on opponent for on the field is already very annoying for opponent. Uh, the good thing is he does have to nerf plus, but nerf plus only does damage if he has something to steal. Currently I don't have any Ember, so the he can't enable the nerf blast. He would need a speed sigil plus something else. Or a booby trap. Or I could have the booby trap, of course. So then you see a uh, routine job just to get a discard, and then you see the moon cursor as well. Okay, we do have the graph enabled, we do have some disc stuff. Hmm... Honestly, 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 I'm fine with just calling this. Uh, get my trade my tarot for the moon cursor, reap a few, and play the shred, and end our turn for now, right there. But yeah, sadly, he did have the booby trap. I was, uh, oh, I was so sorry. It was so great because he only had other other things he would have had, or the position board or something like this. I just got the psychic network, which is not that big of a deal, to be honest. And then that's that. Mm, so, you honestly can just reap two times. Keeping up five cards, which is great. He still has no answer for that. Mm, I want to obviously want to keep my graft. Uh, he has a graft on his own, so we have to be worrisome about that. So we probably want to play these two together. Sadly, we can only archive one currently with our knowledge its power. So it might almost be worth it just to get our mass cards on the board first. Just develop a little mass board right here and our turn and keep it like this for now so like i said the succubus is already annoying for our opponent sadly did have the booby trap would have would i have played them in a, a different way no because that didn't matter how i played them oh i could have made it so that he had to decide yeah i i, I should have looked out for the booby trap because i could have played them in a different order where he had to decide if he wants to get rid of the succubus or a, uh the ember imp the way i played it he got he was able to get rid of both so he gets rid of Mega Mouth. And what else do we see here? What else do we see here? Re Reap. No, he fights. He wants to get rid of Succubus. That's fair. And then he reaps. Yeah, that's what, I, that's what I figured. A rather weak turn. Just so he's, so he's able to get rid of some stuff. Um, I want new cards in hand. I'm gonna discard you. Don't need to play you. I'm gonna play you to archive our interdimensional graft. And then just play the Scrambler Storm, so no actions for our opponent, just to gain the Ember. I know I want to keep it with my Graph together, but I just, I need to refill my hand. I want to refill my hand. And draw quicker through my deck. There was like, I no need for me to bounce in Deathcock this Drumble. So we see Logos. Skyrock, so no, I can't use any cards. Okay, that's not too big of a deal. I want to play Logos, so that's thankfully not a very impactful uh, Timehawk for my opponent. And he does play the, he discards the Graft. That's awesome. That's good news. That means we don't have to worry about our own Graft. So yeah, that means I can just play Logos. Uh, no, I don't need my Archive. Uh, Dexter, you can go. And then we can play you and the Bad Drone. And then end our turn right there. And let's see what we got. We got some discards. Uh, dis uh, cards from this, not cards to discard. And we do have a rise of already good amount of uh, uh, disc creatures in the discard pile. 
So I'm a fan of that. I'm expecting some nerf blasts, like he had his two in the deck, he most likely plays one to get rid of the bad roll, I'm assuming. Okay, Discuss Speed still doesn't want the uh, Silent Dagger on the Drumble. So now the Drumble suddenly is something we want to get rid of. Yeah, there's the there's Nerf Blast, called it. That was about to expect it. Then he steals two with the thing and gets the, uh, gets the uh, Miasma going. Okay, so he was able to do some stuff. So the question is, I could call... Um, yeah, I have to call... To prevent this key, I would have to call this. If I call this, I sadly can get rid of the Drumble. But what I can do though... Mm, yeah, I could still just call this to be honest. I want to prevent this key for now. I want to, I want to draw drumbles from me, myself and stuff like that. So I'm gonna call this. I am gonna play the... No, we don't need our graft yet. I am gonna play the terror. I am just gonna reap with you. And then I'm gonna play the pandemonium. To capture a lot. And the rice I'm gonna keep for now. But the rice I'm gonna keep for now. So we do get our drumble, that's very nice. That's very important. So we do we do get our engine going. We do get our engine going. We have the graft here. He already played his own graft. If he starts to get his ember back, that's totally fine with me. Fogify, no fighting for me. Reach the Smoko. Get rid of Archivist. And what else? Time lock to reap. And he's at four ember. So we can archive something from our discard pile now. Which is honestly awesome because I want to call Logos here. I do want to call Logos here, yes. Um, first I'm gonna play a Sloppy Lab Work. Um, no, we don't have Archives obviously back. I'm gonna play the Sloppy Lab Work. And what do I want to discard? So, um, I could... So first, I would, what, what do I want to archive? Um, I do want to archive the Erise. Or the Drumble. Doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter, really. Let's archive the Arise for now. And what do we want to discard? Let's discard the mating season. And then play the Valent Analyst to the left. And then use this action ability. So I can archive something. So right now I have the Arise there and the uh, Graft. So the good thing is, I could, so I could get the Scrambler Storm there. Just so he can steal the stuff, I get yeah. Let's let's just put a scramble stone there, so I can have it together with my graft. So in case he draws through his deck and he gets his own graft, I had do still have my combo enabled. So and we do the dis for our opponent. We do see this for our opponent. But yeah, I shouldn't have thought so much. Arise is definitely the correct thing to uh, archive since I want to play the drum the drummer right now. And go from there. So yeah, I am gonna just call this and uh, start being annoying to my opponent by playing the Drumble to the left, and then fight with you versus the Snudge because I don't want Snudge things going on, and just end our turn. Like I said, the combo is enabled. I don't mind if he gets rid of my own Drumble. I can arise and then I can do more stuff. So I'm fine there. I am very much fine there. Can arise, play the Drumble, play Metro Terrors, play the Succubee. All this great stuff. Yeah, he gets rid of my Drumble. It's all fine. He can archive now something though with the Gambit Archivist. But I, I like, like Scramble Stone Plus Craft is such a nice thing to have there. And he just fights, okay. Uh, yeah, he fights my the Nova Archivist, okay. Didn't want him to be on the field. I expect him to read with him to, uh, to read since... I mean, he can still do that, right? He just he <laughs> never mind me. He, he called this. He could he, he played the shred on. He can still do that. Yeah, he traded shred for the no vaculus, which makes 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 sense. Most likely gonna reap a few. I guess what I would do. Or maybe he wants to archive. No, it doesn't. Really, yeah, there it is. There it is. Let him reap. It's fine with me. Mm, place fear to send what back to my hand. The murder. Like sending him back to hand is fine with me. Oh yeah, murder makes the most sense. Makes the most sense. Uh, I am gonna call this, and yes, I want my archives back. First, I'm gonna fight with you versus you. Then I'm gonna play the arise and call this. To play, where's my drumble? There's my drumble. 
There it is. Play the Drumble to the left, capture everything, play my two terrors to gain the uh, Ember. Where's my second one? There's my second one to the left. Uh, then I can play the Succubus and the Succubus to the right. Not not gonna play into Booby Trap again. Uh, to the right and Red. I just want on the field, honestly, because I'm gonna graft soon. Like I'm gone. Next turn is, is graft time. <laughs> Doesn't matter what my opponent does here. I, next turn is graft time. He might call this again just to get rid of my Drumble, which is fine. He might call uh, Logos as well. Which would uh, do similar things for him. I am going to call Locus obviously myself to do the graft thing. So Veil and Illness. He has a lot of things he wants to get rid of right now. But he reaps though. Okay, just reaps. Does he have like Positron Bolt? But Positron Bolt doesn't, wouldn't get rid of the Drumble. Neutron Shark. Okay, that, that, that does the trick. That does for sure the trick. So it gets rid of my Ember Imp. And that's, and he gets, okay, that's it. He can't get rid of more. So Drumble actually stays alive. Drumble actually stays alive. So that means I can, I can reap a lot right now. I can just call this and first of all, get rid of his Drumble with my terror right here. So we don't have to deal with those shenanigans. Then I do want to get rid of his Neutron Sharks. So he got a bit unlucky there with his Neutron Sharks. I do want to get rid of his Valentinus as well, since he has the two Dominator Bubbles, and then I'm just gonna reap and reap and end my turn there. He does have too much protect as well, which I forgot to mention sooner. So that's another reason why I definitely want my Scrambler Storm together with my Graft. But yeah, a bit unlucky there for my opponent that he hit like he only got to destroy one. He def I I'm sure he wanted to get rid of the Drumble. Through that, I was able to uh, clear the board and gain a lot of ammo myself. So I am very fine for now. Okay, Shadow, see, and he, I guess the too much of Jack comes now. Would give him a good amount of Ember. Speed Sigil, okay. Do see Speed Sigil, too much to protect, there it is. Nerf Blast, Steel One, get rid of Drumble. He doesn't have to, though, to be fair. He doesn't have to get rid of the Drumble here. He might want to get rid of something else. Like, he might be worried about my craft. Yeah, he does 2 damage to Succubus. Play Silvertooth. He doesn't, he doesn't care about the Trouble Ember right now, since he got, got enough since he got enough through that. That's a bit annoying. So that's the question. Do I want to graft then? Most likely not, right? I can just wait on that. What I can do is call Mars. And basically prevent him from... Uh, from forging by playing you, you enter play ready. Then I can play this upgrade on you as well. Then I can play the artifact, play the murder, which will capture one since I have one ready creature. Then I can reap with you, which will capture another one. So he's at six ember, can forge yet. I get to play a tank to the left, and then he's ready again. And I could reap, which I probably want to do because I don't care about Skippy right now. I can just reap with you again, capture one more. And go from there. I finally get rid of my chain. <laughs> I still had my chain from the Arise. But yeah. I'm not... Like, this The speed shield actually helped me there. The speed shield actually helped me there. And I am close to forging my first key. Um, he, had, he already played a lot of stealing. I don't know what he has in this which could, like, prevent my... Prevent my key. Uh, yeah, not really much. Siri, okay. I mean, I just, I just trouble plus terror again. I don't really know if that was worth it. Yeah, I don't really know if that was worth it. Uh, he gains five Ember now. And he. What does he forbid me now? Like, if he forbids me this, that's fine. Then I play the don't play Drumble. I would play. What does he? What does he forbid? What? What? I'm not Logos. I can't play Logos. So yeah, I'm, I'm obviously gonna play uh, this then. But yeah, I'm gonna forge his key. Complete this. You know, I do have the Drumble. 
Uh, this time I could actually play the Charette first to capture three there. Then I can play the Drumble. Capture everything again, play the two uh, Terrors, which would gain me more Ember. Play the Succubus. And yeah, get rid of the U so I can call a Locus again. And end my turn there. I'm at 6 Ember, I'm a check again. And yeah. Like I said, he was a bit on the. He was a bit stuck there because if he caught, he know, he know, he, he he did play around the graft. He knows I have the graft. He's he's playing around it. He knows I do have the graft, so he's playing around it well. But still, he uh, was a bit stuck there since I do did have the drumble and my graft in hand. So I don't know if he plays around the scramble stone as well. He might just be. In a scenario where he wa was waiting to get the too much attack or something, but if I get this uh, key, yeah, he plays my mind lock. But does he grab the succubus? But ah, uh, yeah, I'm I'm graft. It's now it's graft time. I'm gonna catch my yellow key. Then I'm gonna call uh, logos. Obviously, I'm gonna play the interdimensional graft. I'm gonna play the scrambler storm. So my uh, ember is safe. He can steal with his things. Play the mother. Play the white wormhole. To get the Dominator to protect my mother, why not? Then... And then I end my turn, right? Can I? Wait, I call Logos. I can do stuff with you again, still. Why does it say end turn? Why can I not click on you? Why? I don't, I don't, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Like, he forges now, gives me uh, 24 Ember. He cannot play action cards. I think this is pretty much a GG. I mean, he has his own Rumble, right? He has his own Rumble. Forgot about that. He does have his own rumble indeed. He does have his own rumble we have to worry about. But still, I can generate like a lot of uh, no, not a lot of ember. I can generate some ember with just calling Mars. But he does have his own rumble, can't forget about that. And he did draw through his deck again, so he might just be able to play him. He might just be able to play him. Yeah, there's a rumble. But I can now. I'm fine with now playing around his too much to protect and just not do anything with uh, let's keep this rumble on board and just generate myself a lot of ember. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm fine with uh, I'm fine with ignoring the rumble for now till I have my own rumble again. So I'm just gonna call Mars. I'm gonna play you to be ready. Uh, yeah, something, yeah. Play you to be ready. That means I can play you to capture two. That means I can play you to the right as well. That means I can play you to the left as well. Then I can de-stun you. Then I can uh, use this uh, artifact to reap with my boy and get two more ember. I get additional ember since I have the Veil in a list on board. And just end my turn there. Till I have my own drumble, I'm gonna ignore these 27 ember which are right here. I'm not gonna enable himself to graft or uh, too much to protect me. Since I, this the like I said, it's a similar deck than mine. Uh, since it's a similar deck than mine, I know that like I don't care about this twenty-seven ember there. With these cards, like if with uh, this now and double mass creatures, I can gain a lot of ember with the with you right here. So we do see this opponent, which makes sense since he has the dominator bubbles. Um, I'm most likely not gonna generate that much ember though. Mm. Most likely gonna use this on my tank so I can get, can get rid of some creatures. And then Hysteria. Okay, he gives me the ember? Oh, he can play Drumble again, obviously. He can just play Drumble again, but still, I do have all the mass cards with the Brainstem Antenna. Yeah, you can't just play the drumble again, so that makes sense. Sadly, I do not have my own drumble right now. So we can play the drumble. The question is, like, he would need too much to protect with more stealing cards. Yeah, and he get, he does, does have, he has three cards in archives. That's definitely a thing. Definitely a thing. So what I could do now, mm, do I want to generate 
all the ember. I want to capture a lot. So yeah, I'm gonna call Mars. First things first. Gonna play the Grabber Gemma. Then gonna play the uh, Dominator to the right. Oh no, that was already not. So how much ember do you want to generate? Seven. Six ember. To, exactly six ember do I want? So I read with you three times. So I'm gonna use this card's action ability. Reap once with you. Gain two ember. Then, I'm gonna play the brain Samer turn on you. Which enables me to play another dominator to the left. He's ready again. Now, um, uh, I can reap with you again. I'm at two ember. Then I can play you to the left to capture one. Which enables me to reap again. To be at six ember right now. Now I can play you to the right to fight this. Oh wait, no, I don't want to fight. No, might be no. Oh, I can fight with Rumble. Never mind. I can fight with Rumble just to capture one, just to have one free capture. Then I can play the Zork to the left and the. Now I don't want to reap more, right? Cancel. So I could just reap here again. If I reap here again, I capture one and he uses all his ember. I would be at 8 ember though, so if he has too much to protect, he can steal 2, which is not really enough, which is not really enough. If I reap again, I'm at 8 then. 8 ember, I can, I can stop him from forging, so that's very useful. Yeah, I'm gonna reap again, get another ember, play you to the left. And I can reap again, just to, just to stop him from, f oh, rule 6. <laughs> I can't. I lose, did I use him already six times? I played him and I reaped for three, five times. Yeah, rule of six, I can't use him again. Rule of six, I can't use him again. So I'm gonna end my turn. Minor brain fart there. Sadly, minor brain, uh, brain fart there. But do I have a huge mass bot right now? And he only has one too much to protect. Which it, he has to play right now. And I can just call Mars again. Reap for a ton. Or get rid of the creature on board. This is a more exciting game than I thought. This is getting closer than I thought. I thought when I had the graph for Scramblestorm in my archives, I was fine. But obviously, the him himself uh, having drawing the Drumble again made this game really exciting. And made it really close. He also has to do something. I'm a check. I am at check. So if he has the too much to protect, could he have enough shadow? Yeah, he could have enough shadows cards. See, like with two uh, routine jobs, he could steal enough from me where the uh, he doesn't need the too much to protect. So that is, that is obviously a problem. That is obviously a problem. What I need right now is a psychic network. So just so I can steal a lot of ever back with all my mass creatures. So there's the shadows. Important part is, do we see the too much to protect or does he have enough? Can he steal enough from me? Ah, he does have the Miasma, of course. Okay, he does have Miasma. Good thing is, I don't need to reap so much more right now. Oh, he conceded. Was that on purpose? Conceded, okay. If I, not, I, I'm asking if it was a misclick because. Or if he uh, conceded on purpose. Okay, okay. Okay, cool. That means I did win the first game. Like I said, it seems he didn't have too much to protect. But uh, nice, nice, nice. Uh, that's good for us. Then, uh, yeah, I will cut the video till we get to the next match. First match one for us. Okay, here we are back with the second game. As you can see, I'm playing now with his deck, where he is playing with mine. And, uh, yeah, just wish our opponent another good luck of fun. And start the game. So, we do have the... Yeah, this is a nice combo with Hysteria and Fair Game. Not really in the early game. But I still like this hand, like with lab work plus 
playing these cards, I can base I can basically make sure to like cycle from my hand very quickly, and uh, yeah, just have a present board, gain to ember already, and all this good stuff. Pain boss, classic, classic, st classic star plays the terror and goes from there. I'm gonna play the gamut archivist. I'm gonna play the fogify. I'm gonna play the lab work and archive my hysteria because fair game can be. I might want to play more early. Whereas the fair game, I most likely will. Uh, the hysteria is more situational when I want to play it. I'm just gonna keep it like this for now. We sucker boss. We soon reap of terror. Plays a drumble. Okay, he played in a very nice spot, so that I can just uh, hand off this him. Uh, no, don't give me archives. You can just hand off this succubus right now. Don't really know why you played him there. Then you can mind barb him. He discards a terror. Well, that was a mistake. I should have fair game first. But yeah, let's just play fair game and see how much ember I can get. We can get a lot of ember right here. <laughs> we can actually get enough ember to get us to uh, check. What did he reveal? Reveal tank. So yeah, uh, uh, discarding the uh, terror wasn't too big of a problem there. And yeah, we can just end our turn there and be a check. Exactly six ember, which for my deck is troublesome. The only thing you need to has is like a Dexter or the Grabber Jammer. Which looking at his hand, he does nothing in does nothing of that. He has nothing of that in hand. That's what I want to say. So that means I get my first key. And how do we go from here? Um, I could pose a Trombolt him. Probably makes the most sense right now. Just calling Logos. Uh, no, don't need my archives. Uh, just gonna play you and then gonna Positron Bolt him. Three, two, one. And end my turn here. Do have a lot of chance cards in hand, which I don't need currently. So, what else? We, we, we place Vandy Season from Ember, place the Dominator, place Hitting Feeding Hive, and Brain Simmer 10 on him. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I'm just gonna. I could call this, just make him, yeah, because with the brain antenna, this could be annoying. I honestly just want to call this right now. Uh, no, don't give me this stuff back, just reap a few. What does he discard? Discards the graph, that's awesome news. Then he puts him back to hand, so he can't, the brain antenna is gone, and end my turn right there. Keep him at 5 ember. So he can't do the, uh, like I said, the brain antenna shenanigans. Which was pretty uh, impactful uh, last game, obviously. And we do have the too much to protect and all this good stuff. Which we might be... might No, we don't here have to play next turn. Speed Stitcher, we can... Oh, he has two Speed Stitcher, so we can just discard this one. Because we don't really need it currently. Especially with the... Uh, with the Chris Life on board. Uh, we most likely just want to discard it. So yeah, I'm just gonna call Shadows, discard, uh, no, we don't need Archives back, uh, discard Speed Sigil, play the Routine Job to steal one, play the Nerf Blast to get two damage on you, and then play the Silver Tooth and reap with him. And I'll turn there and draw some more cards. <laughs> Immediately get the other uh, Speed Sigil, but yeah, with the Crystal Hive on board, Speed Sigil we most likely just want to get rid of. White Wormholds the Amber Imp, which is good news for our opponent, but we do have the Whoopie Trap. So I'm not too, 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 too worried. What did I, okay, does he want to trade something? Vayner Analyst for uh, the guy, this guy. Makes sense. Makes sense, makes sense, makes sense. I am just gonna call Shadows though. Gonna discard. Uh, no, we don't need you. Discard you again. Then I'm gonna play the Booby Trap to get uh, some damage on these boys. Can play the silent dagger on you, so I can reap with you and get rid of you. Too much attack I want to keep, so just end our turn there. Yeah, now the drumble probably hits the field or in the rise could make sense as well. You could see in the rise as well. Red captures three. So no drumble yet. The place the rice though. Get all his creatures back. Um, yeah, I'm most likely gonna call. Just gonna call Logos. Oh, that's actually. 
oh, 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 oh. Uh, it's not that impactful to be fair. Oh, it, it is. It could be. Yeah, I don't know why I played the shred. And they send this to get rid of my. Uh, destroy the shred. Ah, okay. Now I see what he's done. But now the arise is gone. Oh, now we can. Oh, yes. That, that's, that's pretty fun. That is pretty fun now. Wait, I have. To, it has to be a. Uh, Yes, nice, nice. Okay, that's that's pretty fun. Let me let me let me talk about what I'm doing here. So first, I'm gonna I'll mind lock my own rumble. Then I'm gonna neutron shark. Uh, wait, can I to left and kill his amber imp and kill my rumble? So he gets the amber. Then I can destroy more. Uh, let's trade the one of the uh, succubus for the half mind lock. And now let's trade the other succubus for my neutron shark because I don't need more. I can play you to left, play the graft, and now we get Ember. <laughs> it's like uh, I don't know if it's like it, it just it was just so fun to do that. If I would have, I could have just immediately gotten rid of him, right? This was just, this was nonsense. This was nonsense. I could have just immediately neutron sharked him. I would have gotten the whole eight ember, and not, not, <laughs> not going. Okay, this uh, this play was fun. To be fair, it was a lot of fun to do that, but it was nonsense. It was utter nonsense to do that. It was utter nonsense to do that. Just thinking about it now, that was made no sense at all. Um, so, yeah, we use the stuff, um, but I'm very ahead. So, I just gonna call this. Play, get my. Um, do I want to play the rise? Not really. Uh, my hysteria. Just gonna play you. Honestly, just gonna play the drumble. Not needing him right now. Then reap a few. Make him discard something. And end our turn again. We do have this in Google's, which is fun. You see, you have Miasma plus you in hand. He has the Grabber Jammer and the Dominator and the Marauder. Remove the stun, and yeah, I'm just gonna call this again. There's like no reason for me to not call this right now and forbid him to play uh, Mars again. Uh, no, don't need you. Play the Snudge, play the Restring Gongos, and forbid him to play Mars. Because I don't want him to use all this, uh, all these shenanigans. Reap. Uh, reap. Make him discard something. Use the Dominator bubble to reap with you as well. And deal 4 damage to you to gain my Ember back. And then use the Dominator bubble as well with you to just reap. And uh, yeah, it's GG. Since I can't play Mars, uh, the Rumbles are gone. He can't play his like, network. And yeah, GG. That's, uh, yeah, that was rather quick in, in comparison to the first one, so uh, we do win 2-0, which is pretty nice, which uh, most, which basically guarantees us that we are getting to the next round, since we do, it's the top two get to the next round, there's only three games, so we won two of them, so we are most likely getting get, getting into the KO round, which is cool, but uh, yeah, that's all for this match, if you did enjoy this video, leave a like, comment, subscribe, you know the deal, hit me on Twitter, Facebook, all the links in the description, and I will see you another time, ciao!